AWS Cloud Practitioner exam, real exam like questions, answers, concepts, documentation, and a free PDF file. All of that is coming in this super exciting video. So let's get started and be AWS certified. Question number 166, party team. The question is asking that what is the minimum size subnet that you can have in an Amazon VPC, which is also known as virtual private cloud. And the options given are option A, 24, option B, 28, option C, 50, and option D, 100. And the correct answer for this question is option B, 28. So friends, the minimum size of the subnet is 28 or 14 IP addresses for IPv4 and the subnets cannot be larger than the VPC in which they are created. And with that, let's quickly jump to the question number 167. The question is saying a business is looking to expedite its programmatic operations by replacing on-site physical servers with serverless compute services provided by AWS. Now, by doing so, they will be able to access the latest innovations rapidly following the migration operation. Which pillar of the AWS well architected framework does this plan fall under? And your options are option A, security, option B, performance efficiency, option C, operational excellence, and option D, reliability. And the correct answer for this question is option B, performance efficiency. Now let's check out some more details on performance efficiency, one of the key pillars of AWS well architected framework. So the performance efficiency pillar includes the ability to use the computing resources efficiently to meet system requirements and to maintain the efficiency as demand changes or the technology evolve. And here you can also understand what are the design principle that comes under performance efficiency. And the first principle is democratize advanced technology. That means make advanced technology implementation easier for your team by delegating complex tasks to your cloud vendor. And if you remember the question correctly, this is the exact ask in the question. And further, the design principle says that you can go global in just few minutes. You use the serverless architectures, experiment more often. So this one enables you to automate the resources, you can quickly carry out comparative testing by using different type of instances, storage and configuration. And lastly, it says consider mechanical sympathy. This one says that understand how the cloud services are consumed and always use the technology approach that aligns best with your workload goals. For example, consider data access patterns when you select the database or storage approaches. And friends, I have reminded you many times in the previous episodes as well, you will definitely get some questions from AWS Well Architected Framework. Now let's move on to the question number 168 that says which AWS Trusted Advisor feature is available exclusively to the users with AWS Business Support or AWS Enterprise Support? And your options are option A, notification setup, option B, refresh checks, option C, AWS support API, and lastly option D, action links. And the correct answer is option C, AWS support API. So now let's understand what is AWS support API. Well, as the documentation says, you can use the AWS support API to create service requests and add correspondence to them throughout investigation of your issues and interactions with AWS support staff. So in very simple words, in case you face any issues with the AWS services, the uptime, or maybe you feel that some service is not working as you are expecting it to be. In that case, you can raise an incident or a ticket with the AWS support staff. And that exactly where support API comes into the picture. Now, in case you want to understand what exactly can you do with the support API, here is the documentation. Here you can see that you can use the API to perform the following tasks. First of all, of course, you can open the support case, which is nothing but the ticket or the incident, howsoever you want to say it. And then you can also get a list and detailed information about the recent support cases. And not only that, filter your search for the support cases by dates and case identifiers, including resolved cases. And you can also add communication and file attachment to your cases and add email recipients for case correspondence. So in a nutshell, everything that you want to do in case some problem arises and you want a support from AWS, in that case, you have to go to the support API. And with that, let's jump on to the question number 169 that says a company is planning to run a global marketing application in AWS cloud. Now the application will feature videos that can be viewed by the users. And the company must ensure that all the users can view these videos with low latency 
which AWS feature or service should the company use to meet this requirement? Your options are AWS Auto Scaling and then the option B is Amazon Kinesis Video Streams, option C Elastic Load Balancing and option D Amazon CloudFront. And the correct answer is option A AWS Auto Scaling. Is that what you chose? No, that's a wrong answer. The actual correct answer is option D, Amazon CloudFront. Okay, so now let's understand what is Amazon CloudFront. Well, basically it securely delivers your content with low latency and high transfer speeds. And of course, you can use the Amazon CloudFront to reduce the latency by delivering data through 600 plus globally dispersed point of presence with automatic network mapping and intelligent routing. And here you can also see that one TB of data transfer out is absolutely free with Amazon free tier. And also my friends, Amazon CloudFront improved the security with traffic encryption and access controls. And not only that, you can also cut the cost with consolidated requests and customizable pricing option and zero fees for data transfer out from AWS Origins. And not just that, you can also customize the code that you run at the AWS Content Delivery Network. And in case you also want to understand how this exactly works, you can understand this here. Here you can see that the Amazon CloudFront is a content delivery network service built for high performance, security and developer convenience. And also one more great way to learn about Amazon CloudFront are these use cases. These use cases will really help you understand when and why to use Amazon CloudFront. So here you can see it helps you deliver fast and secure websites. It also accelerates dynamic content delivery and APIs. Not only that, it helps you stream live on on-demand video. And not only that, it also helps you stream live and on-demand video and also distribute patches and updates. And friends, you can also understand what are the big names in the industry that are using this feature. For example, you can see Zolando. Zolando may be not famous in India, but here in Sweden, it's a very popular delivery service. But I'm sure you must be knowing this brand here, Honda, as Honda is a big name in both two-wheeler and four-wheelers in India, of course. So these documentation friends, you can click on any of the case studies and really understand how these big brands or big names in the industry actually uses any of the AWS service. And this will really help you understand how can you use this service in your application. And with that, let's move on to the question number 117 that says which AWS offering enables users to find, buy and immediately start using software solution in their AWS environment? Your options are option A, AWS Config, option B, AWS Ops Work, option C, AWS SDK and lastly AWS Marketplace. So could you guess the correct answer? Well, it's quite easy. The correct answer is option D, AWS Marketplace, a very similar concept in case you're coming from the Azure background. There also you can find a marketplace, customize application and pre-built solution for just about anything. And this is the link where you can find the AWS Marketplace. So here you can see aws.amazon.com slash marketplace. This is where you can find all the customized solution and see many of these applications, my friends are already working. So please go ahead and discover what is the right solution that fits your business need. And here you can see with most of the application or with most of the solution, you will also find the free trial. And not just that, you can see there are categories. So you can find the solutions under the SaaS category. You can also find under the AMI category, containers, machine learning, data. And then yes, there is a free category as well. So for example, you have sent OS and you can also use this version of the WordPress for free. And similarly, you can explore all the solution. Here you can see the categories. You can put the relevant filters. You can choose by vendors. And in case you want to filter out based on the pricing plan, here is the filter also on the delivery methods. So this way, my friends, in case you're developing some solution or some customized application, I would really suggest you to go for the marketplace and see if there is already a solution that meets your business need. Because of course, who want to reinvent the wheels? And now friends to get the free PDF file for this episode. But before that, a humble request to check out our membership community area. It's a place where you can get more learning materials, PDF files with all the questions and the answers. And you can also directly connect with us. Okay, so in order to get the free PDF file for this episode, you have to send me the correct answers for the questions mentioned on your screen. But please remember these three important points. First, you must be subscribed to the channel, which is absolutely free for you, but a great way for us to expand and reach more audience. Secondly, the free PDF file is only available for the first three days of this video launch. So do spread the video to all your friends so that they can also take the advantage of free PDF files. 
And then the final third point, send in your answers to our email ID connect us at the rate thetechblackboard.com. And friends, in case you love reading, increase your knowledge, read our blogs at techblackboard.com slash blog. And as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.